Alright, hello everyone, welcome to part 47 of Building a City from Scratch. In the last part, I kind of was experimenting with this intersection here, contemplating that maybe a roundabout would be a better solution. Uh, the more I look at it now, the more I think that that would probably be the most sane idea to deal with that situation. Um, however, it's kind of redundant because I have one right over here, so... Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to do that. This is this is unique, but it is, you know, almost. It it definitely is unrealistic. It's borderline evil. That's what I would call it, borderline evil, because it's just yeah. There'd be like an extra signal and everything. The crosswalks. I mean, you gotta like up. So you want to get across the road here. You have to go across here and then down and then down and then down walk in the median cross down <laughs> and then find a way to cross this right here and then you can keep going on your way that's insane roundabout is I mean it's a little bit more difficult to cross like there's no crossing signals in, in um, SimCity 4 but basically you would walk across jump across to the island and then you're fine so or you could pull you know, you could walk in the middle of the island. There are some things that come with um, pedestrian bridges and stuff here. Um, roundabouts. I don't think I have any installed. I used to. All I've got is the Nam HQ, which has a couple of uh, stairs and stuff. But anyways, um, I also put in um, a center turn lane. Ooh, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> Random zoom out. Um, but that's okay. I put in a ran um, turning lanes here as well, just so people here can can turn left because there's no other option uh, for them. If they want to get in or out, they would have to be on this side if there is a median. They couldn't use the other the other side of the road. So that there will help alleviate that problem. So I, I realized that I left out uh, some turning lanes here. So that's the first thing I'm going to work on. I don't have enough room here to put them in, so what I might do is just kind of rework this, just so it all looks um, better. I mean, I don't have to put turning lanes here, but I mean, why not? And it's better for me to get it done now than to wait. This will be a really t uh, short one, but that's my argument is, why not? And then here it would only be one. And then... So that's in now. What I could also do is like a street. I've been playing around with this road for so long now. It's uh, yeah, it's almost not even funny. This way, you can allow it allows turns in and out without looking uh, stupid. But you could also turn into this road. You could also turn into this if it just was like this, right? I think cars can. I have. To, I'll have to put on draw pass. I don't have the extra cheats installed right now. But I think you can go into this lane and theoretically turn in here, even though it doesn't come all the way out. So maybe that is good enough. Maybe what I had was good enough. And then the roundabout would be here, and then maybe here I could have, like, I don't know, additional parking. <laughs> Those road stubs can come in useful every now and then. Um, so why don't I just do that? Basically what I had before. I'm a flip-flopper. Oops. Oops. That's not what I want to do at all. Oh, crap. I'm screwing myself up. Can I save it? Oh. Close. Yeah, that's a bit better. Just something that connects. I could also kind of... Put 
put in another tight curve. No, not enough room for a roundabout. I'm sure what I have is fine. I'm just always looking for, oops, ah. Just kind of hit my headset there. I'm sorry if that didn't sound very good. <laughs> I'm just looking for the best way to make things look good. At least in my mind. Some more sound walls in and just continuing that way. One of the alternatives for the roundabout, too, is I have a filler piece here that gives the illusion of a three lane roundabout. Um, I can show you an example right here, but if I was to ever rework that, maybe adding a third lane would make it a little bit more realistic. So putting that in just gives the impression that it's uh, that's three lanes. It, it you'll never see cars or anything use it, but I mean it is better than um, what's there. But I, I just like the standard roundabout. Uh, thing things like a fountain. You can put in some other things. I have some fillers for some more things if I. Scroll down a bit. You can find these. Just download, just search roundabout filler on like some Tropolis, and you can find all kinds of these things. But like, there's this one too. That's really similar to what's in the roundabout originally, I think. But you can get like this or this, right? So it really just depends what you want. I think I'll put the water fountain back in though. Just because I like it. And then here, I don't know, this is just going to be the death of me really. Let me let me hack it again, just see how, how well it, it looks with the three lane roundabout piece. Just kind of scroll up. There's a couple of them too, like this one's got... Well, this is for the one-way road. That would look really cool. I should probably use that a little bit more often. It says left-hand drive though. Oops. But if I was to add a third... ...lane... ...it looked like this. A little bit more sensible, right? Taking screenshots. So I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss. I can always replace it or do whatever. But I think, oops, what the heck did I just do there? I wanted to skip the song. Yeah, so I think that's probably the best solution that I have so far. But yeah, the third lane is just eye candy. Maybe one of these days there'll be a, uh, a three-lane roundabout. The turbo roundabouts you've seen publicly uh, that are in development for the NAM, and I guess I really shouldn't mention it, but I am. <laughs> the uh, There are some larger roundabouts that are in the works um, in NAM testing behind the scenes, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it will ever be released or shown publicly or anything. Like, it could just be a failure. It's just... A project that some people are, are just tinkering with. And uh, something good might come out of it. But I will neither confirm or deny um, anything like that. But it's not like the SimCity 2013 NDA. Like we, The NAM team really doesn't have anything 
of the sort. Not that it would actually, you know, require uh, something like that in the first place, but yeah, we all just kind of keep to ourselves and obey some general rules that are kind of common sense. But I mean, you can just talk about things like that from every once in a while. You know what I could also do here? I could throw in a slip lane as well. And then this would just be a left turn only. Yeah. That's liking me. That's good. I had some issues with this, this slope here area f at first, so I'm happy that that just kind of got fixed like that. I think it was like part 45 of the series or something. I was just messing around with that. Maybe part 44. So why radius road curves? No, no, I want slip lanes, which is in the tulip part. So it looks something like this. That's what I had in mind for it. So now if you wanted to turn right on this road, you wouldn't have to go over here. This would essentially be a left turn lane past here. Yay or nay? I say yay, but you may say nay. Not like a horse, but... Opinions welcome. As always. I like to hear them. Some of them are pretty ingenious. In fact, almost all, a lot of them are. I am being crazy with bus stops. I really should... I really don't get a lot of use on my bus network either, so I don't even know why I'm doing them. If you look at the traffic volume chart, this is bus. They get us way down at the bottom, and I do a lot of work to get that in place, and only about 30,000 people uh, in the city of 520,000 use the bus. So that's, uh, that's a very low number. Mostly because my rapid transit system is really good, my road system is really good. Um, they really don't need to use it. Uh, as much as uh, I think they uh, would. One thing I'll do here is I'll just kind of... Okay, fine. I'm just going to make this a little bit more of a, a friendly slope. Just so the zones will build a little bit nicer. Just, just something along that, along those lines. Yeah, that's good. Nice and gentle, nice rolling hills. Nothing crazy. There's some crazy stuff coming up over here. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be ke uh, for keeps, but just this crazy hill. Maybe for part 50 I'll put in the Zelda Shrine. I don't know what I'm doing yet for part 50. Part 50 may be this. Which needs to be done sooner than later. So maybe it'll be done before then. Uh, but... Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing for part 50 yet. It will be a special. Uh, don't get me wrong on that. I just don't know... Um, what will happen. No, it doesn't let me. It doesn't like it when I do that. Should I make this a full intersection? There really won't be any other way. Yeah, it doesn't like me there. Ah, crap. No, 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 no. Be nice. Okay, thank you. If I move this one tile down, I can just rid of all the issues that were being faced there. This would just help with, with zoning placement and stuff. 
And then, yeah, I was talking about bike path. Maybe I'll do that right now because I still need to develop this whole shoreline, the riverfront, up to here anyway, so... Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to go about that. What I should do is basically put in a tunnel for that bike path right now, and maybe a road will go under that too. It should be fairly easy, unless it does that to me. Oh well, maybe it'll be best for the tunnel to go here anyway. So basically you just run an extra tile of stuff uh, along the side, and then if you're lucky, you can get a tunnel to dig through. Kind of like that. So this would be for the bike path. And then... Can I get... I can get a row, but can I get an avenue? Not that I would need an avenue. But knowing that I can do that is a good thing. So I'm just going to mark that. Uh, just in case that's needed. But I basically have it kind of... transition to street and then maybe I'll have the bike path kind of run straight down instead of on the shoreline here. Whereas here, it would have to run on the shore. So as soon as I get this bike path in, I can concentrate on doing some other things. I'm going to give the game a save. Change the music. This is a Mandelsoft remix versus Purple Lum called You're the One. I'm sure he's got it. He's got a bunch of techno stuff on his YouTube channel. In the last video, I linked his uh, his Noro stuff, so uh, that's really cool. So if you go, if you want, just check out the um, part 45. No, it wasn't part. Yeah, it was part 45. So it was a couple of videos ago, and um, yeah, he's doing some really cool stuff. Another Nam team member. He's Dutch. Dutch are crazy. He does some crazy stuff. Then again, I'm Canadian, and we do some crazy stuff too. Everybody has, everybody in their own nationality does their own crazy stuff, and it doesn't even need to apply to nationality. Some people are just generally crazy. So I need the street transition. Oop. I need the diagonal curve to the left. So, street transition. Where are you? There you are. And then, hospital menu, diagonal curve, left, good. And then some diagonal stuff. That was up, up is one way. I never know what these things. And then that's the lower side. Should probably level all this stuff. Um, to make it really nice and uniform, I could make this all landfill. Not like landfill is in a dump. Just kind of raise that up a bit. I think I'll just do that. Just for the, just to make everything easier. Just makes everything a lot more simplistic. I don't think it likes me very much here. Might have to do a little bit more flattening. Yeah, that's a little bit better. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Especially for a bike path, it doesn't need to be like a slope four bullet train. High speed rail. Oh, I'm not rotating the right way. What way was it? Was it that way for. Yeah. Yep, and I calculated that that was going to be perfect. Actually, I really didn't calculate it. I just kind of guessed. <laughs> it worked out. I'm building this badly. I 
And then here I want some kind of curb because there'll be a T-intersection and stuff. Kind of curve that up. Maybe have a bike path come this way. Doesn't need to be that perfect. Where am I going here? Um, is it another left curve? Definitely not another left curve. Uh, it will be a a right curve, and then here I want to put in a um, a full uh, T intersection. No, no, a f X. It says Xing. That's four way. That kind of holds up, right? Looks good. And this can kind of go down the shoreline. And this can kind of go that way. And make it all look good. Probably want the other way so you can see the bench a little bit better. And I could keep it going, maybe up to here or something. doesn't like me so much. Doesn't need to be perfect. Oops. That for now. It could continue, but it, I can't really get it past here. Can't dig it under the curve. And then here I want it running straight as well. Then have a kind of curve. Again, if I make it just a nice diagonal, it'll save me a lot of trouble. That is not the curve that I want. I could probably put it down a little bit more. I'll put one more tile down. And then diagonal is that way. Kind of just have it run like that. Should probably get this fixed up too. Does not need to be perfect. Or have it run kind of in a depressed valley here, maybe. Okay. Maybe I can have a transition here. No, no, I should have it run all the way down. I make something here? No, I never left enough room. The transition might have to be... It won't let me do it here. Can I flatten this? So I can do a road connection. Why can't I do a street connection? Okay, it'll let me do a street connection. So if I was to move it out like that... Interesting how the whole intersection moved. come out to the side here. Maybe I could do like a T-junction here again, then have it curve some more. Because there's no there's no room for a tunnel or anything here. Even if I were to tunnel it on this side of the bullet train, like it would just kind of end, because this, this hugs the, uh, the riverfront. So that's going to be a no. And there's no other way to do it, because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't leave enough room. There's no room in the slope. 
uh, for, for anything like that. So maybe I'll just have it kind of come in that way. Now that I have a game plan, I can just keep going at it. It's just slow building, uh... So that's not the right way. It's slow building these things. Because it's, it's puzzle piece work. It's plop after plop after plop. And then how straight do I want this to be? Be good to have this kind of straight. Unless it hates me. I don't know, I guess that's a good enough run. I'm getting these things wrong. It's just because I'm going the opposite way. I'm thinking right is right, but right is actually left when you look at it the other way. And that needs to be down an extra spot. Yeah, that's better. No, 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 that's not the wrong, that's the wrong piece. Should this actually go down a bit more? Maybe not. I can put some nice trees. I think I'll have... I think I have enough room here for the curve. If not, I can move it over our spot. So get the tree, street transition in, and then get the... curve, which is to the... That will be to the right. Except that's not my right, that's the other right. Oh, come on. Go right. Yeah, it says right. Yeah, I am right. Right, it's right. <laughs> I am right because it's right. Oops, that's not the piece I want. Um, straight. And then fill it in on this side, and then I'll give it another save. Good. Part one of uh, beautifying the riverfront is uh, pretty much done. Sometimes saving is really fast, other times it's just... There, that's, there we go. Man, I can fill this up with probably forested street trees and stuff. So the first thing I'll do is kind of coat that. I might plop uh, trees manually here. Just have something like run in the middle. Whereas on this side, I might do a little bit more forested stuff. Makes it a lot more natural looking. On this side, I'll kind of go the opposite, at least up to there. Let's just see. I'm gonna just see how that goes. I kind of passed it. Kind of 
click frantically until every single tile is filled. And pray that I don't get prop box. I think I fixed up the issue the issue with getting prop box. Oh yeah, and I said I might want to do an avenue here. So I'll keep this free. Or at least a road tunnel. Because I don't know what I'm going to do over there. Why do I put this buffer here? Is because these tree leaves would kind of etch on the edge of the rails. That wouldn't look very good. Whereas that looks a lot, lot better. Maybe for these couple tiles I'll do it. Different kind of tree plop anyway. Every now and then, it's good for different species of trees. Although I really like these really green trees here too. Whereas this is more carnivorous. Uh, I don't know. That's five tiles, so I may as well just fill this in. Parallel that? How about with a road? Ooh, that's bad. I didn't know where it's going there. I think I missed a spot there too. I definitely did. So let's keep that low to the ground and I'll fix that with a uh, diagonal, diagonal. And then this will be some very prime real estate here. Except you're overlooking the railway tracks if you're if you're facing this way. And that might build. Why don't I just do that? And then I can put a couple more forests up here. Yeah, that's good. Don't know how this area is gonna come uh come in place yet. Should probably keep those sound walls going and then maybe have like... Can I continue this road up? Okay. But what I'll do... Something like that. And then here, the sound wall will definitely keep going. Does that look good there, or is it better over here? I could go all out and just cover it all up. I wonder how that will look. And 
That's a full... Yeah, I guess I may as well just do that. Oops. A little bit of a mistake there. Commercial, probably commercial would be best the best choice here. Good stop, good place for a bus stop. And uh, yeah, I will do subways for this whole area a little bit later. Hopefully, I won't miss too many areas. My goal is to get zero missed. I should start off by zoning the other way. No, it automatically wants to start creating a side street. Yeah, well, how about no? How about you do that? Prime real estate, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll fix this up with a tree since I have it selected. That's good. I think I'll give the game another save. I just realized I have shadow still turned on. I hope the uh, frame rate's okay. I've mostly been in a um, undeveloped area for this video, so should be okay with the frame rate. I'm hoping, but I'll turn it off right now. I just I was taking some screenshots and stuff. There might be some list in the bottom um, of this video. If not, definitely for the next one. Uh, so graphic options. And let's get the shadows. A little bit of frantic zooming. I was trying to zoom in and out because, oops, that's the way I get shadows turned off. But um, instead, I ended up crashing the game. Should I end the part now? Maybe. Don't know if there's too much else to do. Guess I should just keep going. I feel like I want to keep going. Um, I submitted that intersection that I was kind of reworking on um, reddit.com slash infrastructure porn. It's the uh, top link right now. Probably wouldn't be, won't be by the time this video is out, but I'll just kind of show you it. Um, because I, I thought they would be interested in it, so I'll just go to Reddit. Infrastructure porn is one of the uh, Reddits that I'm subscribed to, and it's number one right now. So I kind of put this here, just saying that this board, you know, this is borderline evil, because this is just where a lot of people are interested in, like roads and bridges and everything, rails, come. So I basically put that with the uh, roundabout alternative, and then the. Um, then zoom out. Let's see what some people have said. It's the most appropriate application for roundabouts. It is good. One guy says it looks like Seattle, and it's nothing compared to the. Well, of course, it's nothing compared to the Magic Roundabout. That's in the league of its own. Round one. And somebody's pointing it here. I'm using the new Google Map, so it takes forever to load. I'm gonna test it for that like half the intersections. Yeah, this is all Google Maps stuff. It's just... The new Google Maps is very slow. For me. I have a new message. Oh, it's just for that. Okay. Is this done loading yet? No? Well, I guess I can keep going. Uh, well, I don't know what else is new. Kind of unprepared. Oh, but I'm glad because this is back. 
Yeah, so I didn't lose anything there. I was just kind of trying to zoom out. The shadows are off. I did all that just to turn the shadows off. Um, I guess I continue zoning. Huge demand for residential and stuff. This is definitely prime real estate. You know what, I probably just want a just want a road tunnel here. The roundabout can handle the main uh, stress of the road, it's not too far away. So I'm just wondering, I'm gonna put in, I guess I don't need to put in a road curve, as I'll know. That's the minimum spot, oh, it doesn't like me here, redraw. Sometimes it's as simple as that. So I could put the road curve there, or I could move it over a little bit more. Having a little extra space is probably a good thing. This intersection wants to come here too. That presents a bit of a problem. This can always be moved. Maybe I'll do like some kind of nice looking fractional angle stuff. This theoretically doesn't have to be here, I just did it. Another awkward ending. I really will, um... I really dislike this kind of setup, but sometimes it works. Having a larger road end to a smaller one. And then what I can do here... So I can have this road maybe wind a bit. Kind of like that. And I can put some zones here. Maybe have like a... Road kind of made it like that, maybe? Something out of the ordinary. Just have a kind of cul-de-sac here. I guess the normal cul-de-sac is fine. You can make a, like a bigger cul-de-sac if you want with the roundabout. If I were to move it one over, I could get lights and stuff, so maybe I'll just do that. That is, if it will get along with me. Okay, that's good. I'm glad it did. I can have some other intersecting road here. Doesn't have to be this close. But that's the minor. Kind of go like that. Yeah? No? I like it. I think it's just enough, so it's good. Very organic like. Take a screenshot. Lots of crevices and stuff to stick in uh, whatever I want. While making it look nice at the same time. don't know what I'm going to do here. I guess I'll keep this going for now. I 
guess I can just keep this going the whole way. Keep that covered? Sure. Oh, I'm missing a spot here. No, no, I should probably keep this uncovered. Up to here, anyway. May as well put a sign here. Let them know that a roundabout is approaching. This could also be a candidate for a three-lane roundabout. Why don't I just put it in while I'm thinking about it? I'm expecting this road to get a lot busier as uh, time goes by. If I don't like it, I can always get rid of it. This can stay as a normal uh, roundabout, though. Just this has got a major road this way to the airport and this way, whereas this just got some intersecting roads and stuff. Again, it all depends on traffic volumes. And then this will be pure residential. Try to keep it as organic as I can. This could be commercial. You know what, I will make this part commercial, I think. Probably stick a bus stop here. Could be a good spot for subway station too, but I'll get there when I get there. I basically want to have this whole area zoned and, and ready to go before I finalize my uh, subway stations because I want to do it all in one uh, big build. Music's gone quiet. There's like 10 seconds of empty, mu empty music there. So that's good. Um, this will be for later. I basically just want to get all the way all the way down here. This can be filled up later. This, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just had a treatment plant there for the time being. I think that's good enough to end the part. I think I've been going a little bit longer than I thought, than I'm thinking. But that's what happens in SimCity. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's some riverfront uh, development, frontage, everything like that. That's just my style. There are some people who put some really nice, um, what are they called, sea walls or riverside walls or whatever. But you need to have like the terrain perfectly leveled, and this has to be like constant. Like, see what I have here? Like, it has to be like this lining the whole way through. You can't have it kind of deviate and have differences in slopes and stuff. Like, I've tried it, and I just, it just wasn't for me. Like, I, I would really like to have it, but it just, I, I suck at doing it. So, you know, you gotta stick with what you know. Um, do I really need this intersection here? This would be a sharp turn to get in. As well, so maybe not. That's quite sharp, whereas if you just made a left turn here, you can go in. I don't know. You can also let me know in your opinions on this. I can, re I can get rid of one of the, uh, get rid of this intersection. If I, if I need to. What I could also do, since I have room here, is basically make like a one way. It kind of comes down and through here. So you could make your left turn that way. Then your right turn would still be very steep. Here, I'll show you. Kind of like that. So what do you think? 
better? Yay? Nay? I can always get rid of it. Okay, anyways, that'll do it for me. See you guys for the next part. Have a good one.